guys this video is a double treat because you're going to get a hair tutorial for the romantic curls and you're also going to get a, the leave-in recipe that you requested in the last video both are super easy that's why i decided to go ahead and combine them so for the hairstyle you're going to need to leave in what you're about to get you're also going to need your hair oil that's another video um the cantu shea butter twist and lock gel that I've used in other styles, the clamps to separate your sections, bobby pins to pin up your hair, your rat tail comb to part neat sections for the curl formers so that they, they, they don't snag. And of course, you're going to need the curl formers and uh, you're going to need the 40 count for this. For the leave-in, you're going to need a glass jar. I usually catch these on sale at Hobby Lobby when they're half off. The Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner because it's a great detangler. And I usually use the Shea Moisture Detangler because of the uh, butter and oil base it has. But Care Care is my backup because the Shea Moisture one is always sold out. And you're also going to need castor oil, which is great with sealing your hair. My hair does not dry out as fast when I use castor oil. You're going to need a tablespoon, measuring spoon, and you're also going to need a small whisk, and I bought that at Sally's Beauty Supply. Just squeeze in three small amounts of the Not Today and three small amounts of the Shea Moisture Detangler or the Backup Care Care, and then add the tablespoon of castor oil and mix it up it's really that simple guys i like to keep things nice and easy in my life i'm a teacher plus i do this i stay busy so if you like it let me know if you try this out i know some of you asked if i had ever tried kimmy tubes version of a leave-in mixture i never got around to it but i do know that she did use the kinky curly knot today and as i'm putting my hair in four sections i'm going to explain why i like the two leave-in conditioners i use i like the the not today because it's a great detangler but my hair always felt as if it was missing something and when Shea Moisture came out with their detangler I liked how they had all the oils and butters in it so when I put the two together it was like the perfect marriage and I can like run my fingers through my hair as I'm finger detangling and I do finger detangle in the shower as well and my hair stays thirsty stays it'll dry out so I love the castor oil it's a heavy oil for my thick hair if you have fine hair you may not want to use it because it's really heavy but it does do a great job of sealing in moisture and adding shine so I am going to take the four sections I put my hair in then I'm going to um, add my oil and twist my hair each of the four sections will have 10 twists to go with the 40 curl formers so make your twist about this size and part with the um, rat tail comb so that you don't get uh, have loose hairs that get snagged in the curl formers hooks so once I've done all 40 twists I will take each section and this is so easy twist at the root so that uh, the hair doesn't get snagged and then hook the curl former through pull it through and there you go i hope this method helps those of you who said you struggle with installing curl formers on your thick kinky curly hair now i have all 40 curl formers in i kept them in all day because i was doing stuff around the house and i slept in them and so to remove them the next day all you have to do is squeeze at the root and looky looky look at the definition and the shine and my ends are stretched even though i have these springy curls the ends of my twist are stretched and this is the result extra shiny and extra bouncy and once I do that I like big hair I like to go through and separate it but don't separate your hair too much or else it'll get frizzy and puffy but I like more volume so I went through and separated each twist a couple times and once I did that all I did was pull all of my hair forward I used about four to five bobby pins and as I was pulling my hair towards the front of my face all I did was just pin the bobby pins across I didn't want to pull too tight because I wanted this style to look effortless and romantic so there you go a very simple style and with the loose curls all you have to do is like tuck them away and play with the front so that it fits your face and there you go an easy style let me know if the leave-in or the style works for you by posting to our my natural sisters accounts or our individual accounts on instagram facebook or tumblr i'll post all links in the description box and thanks for watching guys and god bless